My name is James Miner. Welcome to my mathematics class. In this class, we are going to look at um, loci, which is a form for a mathematics topic. Now, this lesson is a continuation um, on the topic of loci. The last time we looked at the perpendicular bisector locus. Today we want to look at uh, a different type of locus and this is the um, angle bisector locus. Like we've seen in the previous cases, the topic of loci is actually an application of <clears throat> very basic geometric uh, techniques and uh, exactly you, you're going to see that even in this one hour that we are doing today. So today we want to focus on the angle bisector locus and by definition the angle bisector locus is the locus of a point that moves in such a way that it is always equidistant from two intersecting lines. Uh, in our example that will come out very clearly we are told uh, to draw the locus of a point P which moves such that it is equidistant from two lines AB and BC uh, given. Now when we look at the given lines we see that AB and BC, uh, the two lines, are intersecting at point B. We would like to es establish the path followed by a point that moves in between AB, AB and BC such that it is always equidistant or equal distance from um, BC and from uh, AB. Now, even just by looking, you can see if there will be a point that will move here so that it is a given distance from line AB and also the same distance from a given line BC, then this must be the point that moves in between here. In other words, it is that point that would tra trace uh, a line which bisects the angle ABC. So simply, all we need to do is obtain the bisector of angle ABC. And so what we need now to remind ourselves is how we get that bisector. And let's go straight to that. And I have a, a pair of compasses with me. And how do we bisect angle ABC? Open up your pair of compasses, uh, given radius. With the um, sharp point at B, make an arc on AB. With the same radius, make an arc on BC. Now transfer the sharp point to the one of the arcs that you have made, and we could uh, transfer to this arc, and using the same radius, strike another arc within the angle, and with the same radius, move to the other arc on AB and strike an arc. We could, we could go through that again, that you have to open up your pair of compasses, a given radius, I've chosen that one, and with the sharp point at B, make an arc on AB, and with the same radius, make an arc on BC. Then shift the sharp point to the arcs that you have made one at a time and therefore I decided to move to BC, the arc on BC and I made an arc and then transfer the sharp point again without changing the radius and make an arc um, uh, so that it intersects the first one. And we are through with that because all that remains now is to join B to the intersection of the arcs. And that we can do with a straight edge. And here I have a straight edge. And I have the locus. So P 
can be anywhere along here. All these are P's. This is P. The part followed by P is along the angle bisector. And therefore we have the locus. The locus of point P is the angle bisector. We can explain what the locus is. So the locus of P is the angle bisector of angle A, B, C. There you are. So with that we've come to the end of our short lesson. In the next lesson we are going to look at a very interesting one, the constant angle locus. Very interesting. After that we shall look at intersecting loci and maybe before we discuss the intersecting loci we will need to look at a question maybe taken from one of our national exams and we look at it see of course in a question the different loci are tested at once and we will do that uh, so make sure you subscribe so that as we look at that question which encompasses several loci you will be able to be part of the discussion otherwise from me for now is goodbye until we meet in the next lesson